This is a prayer of Ganesh Utsav. It's a time where worship is made to the Mangal Murti of Lord Ganesh. In this yag, my dear friends, we'll be using different messages to alert the human mind. Different epics from different scriptures to motivate ourselves that when we come before this Murti of Lord Ganesh, my dear friends, we'll be in a proper frame of mind to make and surrender ourselves to the lotus-like feet of the Lord. Today being Tuesday, today being a day that is dedicated to Mahabir Swami, Pawan Putra Hanuman, will use the message of Hanuman to create an awareness in our hearts and our minds to approach this murti of Lord Ganesh to win the grace of the Lord. And in bringing the message of Hanumanji, Hanuman is called Jnana Gunasagar, the ocean of knowledge. Tulsidas refer to him as Gosain, the control of the senses. Hanuman is the mind replica in the human being. He is depicted in that form as a kapi or a vanad, a monkey. In everything that we do, there is a deeper symbolic meaning behind everything that we do. Everything that you see. Hanumanji being depicted in the form of a monkey, if you observe a monkey very well, a monkey just can't sit still. It jumps from here to there. But not this monkey, Hanuman. He is perfectly still. Because he is Gosai. He has control. He is right here. He is in our mind. He sits in our intellect. Just a few, last night we have been talking. Do you think, my dear friends, we really have to pray to this Murti? Where do we look for God? Where do we search to find God? If we reach the state, my dear friends, that we could close our eyes and find God in our heart, and we can find God inside of us, then, my dear friends, we have reached a special position in our devoted state. There is no need for murtis. There is no need for this pratimas. There is no need for this image. But until then, my dear friends, we have to keep working on ourselves. And this period of Ganesh Utsav, all these religious occasions, it gives us an opportunity for us to work on ourselves. Goswami Tulsidas tells us that this katha, very brief it is, it's called opening of the heart. For we all need to open our heart. What heart I'm talking about? Hanumanji in Tulsi Das's Ramayana was given a gift. And this gift was given to him by the divine goddess Sita. At the point of giving him this gift, Hanumanji was massaging the feet of Sri Ram. And while massaging the feet of Sri Ram, Goddess Sita had this possession which was given to her and she wanted to give it to someone and she started to think in her mind, who should I give this precious gem to? This precious pearls and but so much material worth. And so thinking in her mind, she came upon one person in her name, in her mind. One name in her mind. And that name was Hanuman. And when she thought of Hanuman, instantly Hanuman looked at her. She didn't call out to him. The minute she thought of Hanuman, he looked at her and he bowed on her feet. And while doing that act of prostration, she placed the mala around his neck 
and Hanumanji bowed. Bowing at the feet of Sri Ram, he took this mala, and my dear friends, he is backing up. If you observe, my dear friends, that when I come to make my worship to the Murti, observing, my dear friends, is very important. If you don't observe, you cannot learn. If you don't pay attention, then you will not notice. If you observe when I come to the Murti, I take a few steps back. I don't just turn my back on the Murti. So whenever you make your worship to the Murti, I'm not saying for you to back up and fall down and damage yourself. Just a gesture that, oh Lord, I have worshipped you. I'm leaving you now. Hanumanji bowed before the feet of Mother Sita and Prabhu Shiram, and he is backing up. He bowed again, and now he's walking away. And he's looking at this mala, very beautiful it was, that was given to him by the divine goddess Sita. And he's looking at the mala, and my dear friends, while he is looking at this mala, everybody else is looking at the very same mala. And why are they looking at this mala? Because they wish in their heart they could have gotten that mala. We all have wishes. We all have desires. In the presence of Sri Ram, the gift was given to Hanuman. And right away when the gift was given to Hanuman, thoughts came into their mind. What is a monkey going to do with his precious stones and gems? One thing I'll tell you, my dear friends, when you're in satsang, judge no one. When you are in satsang, my dear friends, if you want to judge, look at yourself, let us judge ourselves. There's a statement, my dear friends, closest to the church, but yet still furthest away from God. You are in the presence of the Lord. Hence, our attitude, our behavior, our mannerism must be worthy of the Lord. Anything other than that, my dear friends, you would have failed. And I said last night, it is the baggage, it is the excess weight that we have to get rid of. Are we prepared to get rid of this excess weight? Year in, year out, we go through the same process. Hanumanji is looking at these beads and all of a sudden he burst it. And while he burst these beads, or gems that were strong as a mala, some of the beads and precious stones fell to the ground. And in the quarters of Sri Ram, my dear friend, they started to roll on the ground. And while the precious stones and gem was rolling on the ground, if you see how those individuals were scampering and fighting for those precious stones, Hanumanji paid no attention to it. He took one of the beads, and he looked at it, he investigated it. And to the amazement of everyone else who were there, he placed it in his mouth and he cracked it. And after cracking this bead and this precious stone, when he looked inside of it, he just shook his head and he threw it to the ground. Bead after bead he is biting. Stone after stone he is biting. For Hanumanji, in his thought, in his mind, he is saying, such a beautiful emblem, such a beautiful gift that my mother gave to me, it must have some value. But I see none on the outside. So he thought it best, if the value, if the gem, if the real worth is not on the outside, then it must be on the inside. An inquisitive mind, he burst the beads, he looked inside, did not find what he want, and he tossed it away. So Hanumanji is performing the actions. And while performing the action, my dear friends, Tulsidas tells us, when we perform actions sometimes, people don't like them. And they become angry when they don't like our actions. And if they can't take it too long, then they themselves begin to ask questions. So there was a bee, there was a very powerful king there 
who ask a question. This is what he asked. <laughs> सुंदर रथ सुजान सिया पति राम चंद्र तब कोई राजा बोले उता महावीर there was a king in the audience who stood up who couldn't take it anymore he was one of them who perceived in his mind that when you give something to someone that is not deserving of it then they have no respect and value for it. But I would think, my dear friends, that if this mala is mine, and it is given to me, then I am free to do with my thing whatever I want to do with my thing. Because it is mine. Don't you think? That which belongs to you, you are free to do what you desire with it. Because it is yours. This mala was Hanuman's mala. And he was free to do whatever he wishes to do with it. And he has done that. Hanumanji is not the ordinary person. He is focused. And so being focused, my dear friends, he did what he thought was best. And so to every single one of us, we will do that which we think is best. Sometimes people ask for advice, but they don't really want advice at all. They just want to hear what you will say. Because their mind is already made up. I want to tell you, my dear friends, every action that we perform, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Nothing is escape. All actions are noticed in the world. And it is stored up, my dear friends, as karmas. No one else reap them but we ourselves. Tulsi Das is saying, that king stood up. Ya aap kya karte ho Hanuman? What are you doing? Ati sundar ratno ke chatur ho kar kya torte ho? Such a beautiful gem. Why are you biting it and showing it away? And when a question is asked, answers must be given. I want to tell you, my dear friends, sometimes we are bold and brave to ask questions, but when the answers are given, we really don't want to hear. We then turn a deaf ear or a blind eye at it. This is what Tulsi Das is. Jai Rama Sri Rama Jai Jai Rama Sri Rama Jai Ram, Jai Jai Bachana Sunata Ka Maruti Bani Dekahu Ram Naam Sukha Dani Jai Ram, Sri Ram Jai Ram, Sri Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai.
Tulsidas is saying that this king stood up and asked, what are you doing with these beads? Why are you tossing it away? Don't you have any value for the gift that was given to you by the Lord, the Divine Mother? What are you looking for? Hanumanji responded, Ram Nam Hoga. I am looking for the emblem of my Lord. And I thought it was on the outside. But after investigating, I could not find. So I thought it was on the inside. But it seems as though, Bhaya, I have wasted that thought. So too many of us, we waste our thoughts. We allow our thoughts to just go down to the drain. For the past month, I've been sending some thoughts to you. How many of you pay attention to those thoughts? Thoughts, my dear friends, come to us. I want to tell you, my dear friends, who have been observing my thoughts in the morning, those are not other people's thoughts, you know, my thoughts. That's why I say at the end, it's from a simple soul. We are all simple souls. And the quest for us, my dear friends, to merge with that Param soul, to merge with God and become one with God. But we can only merge and become one with God when, my dear friends, we leave all the baggage behind. We leave all the negative utterance, the habits, the bad ones, we leave them behind and pick up the good ones. So this king is asking Hanuman, tell me, why are you biting the beads and throwing it away? Have you no respect for them? He said, yes, Gaya, I have respect for it, but it has no value for material things in the world. It has value for a time. It is not permanent. It is just for a time. Money comes and it goes. Tulsi Das is saying, my dear friends, that Hanumanji was questioned. He was probed. And my dear friends, he was backed up to a corner. And when he was asked, what are you doing with the beads and why are you throwing it away? He said, I'm looking for the emblem of my Lord. And that which does not contain the emblem of divinity, of spirituality, of my Lord, is of no value. And therefore the king asked, O oh Balwan, O oh powerful Veed, O oh Hanuman, tell me. If you say to me that that object that does not contain divinity and God, or the emblem of God has no value, then you tell me, do you have God inside of you? And that is a multi-million dollar question. <laughs> I don't want you to answer it now. But the answer is, my dear friends, yes. The question is, could you see God inside of you? Have you found this Lord inside of you? Hanumanji was placed to the test. For some, my dear friends, in the world, we say seeing is believing. And to others, my dear friends, we see and we still can't believe. That is the attitude. And therefore, Hanumanji was asked in the presence of Sri Ram, don't only talk and tell me that you have God inside of you. I want to see for myself. And you all know what Hanuman did. Huh? He placed his hand to his chest. Hence, this katha is called opening the heart. Raghupati Radha Raja Rama Patita Pavan Sita Rama He burst his chest. And burst in his chest, my dear friends, was the emblem not only of Ram, but Ram and Shri Sita. Blood is streaming from his heart. It's streaming from his chest. Pulaka Sharira, every pawn his body is standing on end. Tulsi Das is saying that this Hanuman is telling us that we must have a generous heart, an open heart, an open mind. From time to time, you'll be faced with challenges, obstacles and difficulties. 
But if we are focused and you are firm in your doings, no problems, no challenge, no difficulty will get the better of you. Raghupati Raghav Raja Ram Patita Pavan Sita Everybody Jai Raghunanda Jai Shri My dear friends, I am not asking you here tonight to show me that you have God inside of you. That's the question I'm not asking. The question I am asking is do you recognize, do you appreciate that without God inside of us, we are nothing? We cease to exist in this world. So therefore, the quest is that there is God inside of us. Is do we believe that? Many of us want to go from place to place looking for this God. And the very same God tells us, it will be difficult for you to find me. Therefore, I place the replica before your eyes. I place these murtis, I place these images. And through this medium, try to find me. Chidananda Rupam Shivoham Shivoham Based on our decisions, my dear friends, that whatever we do in the world and the thoughts that we create in our minds is only then and then, my dear friends, we'll really feel that Lord inside of us. And if we come to the appreciation that there is God inside of us, then we are going to be a confident person. We'll be a person who will understand what we have to do, how it must be done. And from time to time, just like Hanuman was plagued with complications, some might say it was an embarrassing situation where he was challenged, where he was oppressed. And so too, my, my dear friends, from time to time, we will be the very same way, where we'll be oppressed, will be inconvenient from time to time. How do we cope with this inconvenience? How do we cope with all the troubles and the pains and the aches that we will get from time to time? If we are not focused, if you're not confident, like Hanumanji, when he was asked, yes, there is God inside of me, he didn't ba 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 ba. He didn't start a butt, like many of us. Are you going to the yak tonight? Well, I have to think about it. Are you going to pray this morning? Well, I am not feeling so well. I want to tell you, my dear friends, human beings just love to make excuses. Especially Hindus love to make excuses. They always want to make a reason why they can't pray, why they shouldn't pray. Our scriptures tell us, my dear friends, pray every single second that you get. Because you don't know, my dear friends, if it will come to you again. Hanumanji is teaching us in the world that when we come to the Lord, 
we must be confident about ourselves. And my dear friends, during the course of the day, I take calls, I take messages and I respond. I also listen at night to feedbacks of what people are saying. And this Lord don't want you to change overnight, you know, because nobody can change overnight. Nobody can't. But when you come before this murti, if there is an ailment, if there is a discomfort, if there is a problem that you may encounter or have presently in your life, it may be a broken relationship, it may be a misunderstanding with a family member. It may be some complication in your work. It may be some disease or sickness or ailment of the mind or of the body. When you come before this multi and you surrender yourself to this multi in a positive manner, in a positive way, it is guaranteed. Your, your troubles will be removed. Goswami Tulsidas is saying that Hanumanji, he was in charge. You see, right now, I am in charge. Nobody can take my mic. I have the best seat in the house. But an I and, I and an I and an I just builds that ego. Tulsidas is telling us, yes, we must be in charge. For you are in charge of your life and I in charge of mine. You have a choice to be happy or you have a choice to be sad. I can't make you happy. I definitely can't make you sad. It is your doing, it is my doing. But Hanumanji is teaching us, if we want to be successful, then for God's sake, be in charge. I often say to you, this is your life to live. Live it. Don't live someone else's life. Live your life. You alone, my dear friends, will know your circumstances. No matter how much you come and tell me of your problems, I will listen. I will observe. But you alone know your feelings, nobody else. And this Lord is saying, Anumanji is saying, when you come before the images, when you come before God, express yourself. The question is, my dear friends, how do we express ourselves? How do we express ourselves? Tulsi Das is saying, Hanumanji is the epitome of love, praying. Oh, I am no expert on telling you about love. I am the one of the most harshest person in this world. However, I want to tell you, if that love does not generate from inside, then how could you express it to the Lord? Many of us love because of an expectation that you be loved back in return. But my dear friends, expectations in the world bring only Satan, disappointments. Many years ago, two of my godchildren came, a young boy and a young girl. They were, they were my godchildren and they were not married and they was about to fix the date for the wedding and I sat under this very same house and I saw the girl was watching the boy in his eyes he had glasses and so forth those people are not here and I'm not talking about their business so I asked her I have the prerogative to ask my godchildren anything I wish and I asked why are you looking at them like that? Very gentle, I ask. And she says, I want to watch him in his eyes. I say, why? I want to see if he loves me. So I started to laugh. 
I said, don't be so stupid, girl. That is one thing you can't see in somebody's eyes. You cannot see love like that. That is only talk. Love is something that has to grow. Love is something you have to water it with care and attention. Love is something, my dear friends, you have to be focused upon it. Love, my dear friends, does not happen at a snap of a finger. Hanuman Ji is telling us that we have to develop that love. Not for the other person, but we have to develop that love for who? For our self. And if you can develop that love for yourself, my dear friends, then you will see your true potential. And unless you develop that, that love for yourself, then you will never know that true identity. You will never know that true you. The true characteristics of what you are truly made up of. Tulsidas is saying, if we could live our life like Hanuman, Hanumanji saw Sri Sita one day next to Sri Ram. And he felt envious. Envy is a disease of the mind. So Hanumanji keeps nothing in his mind. So when he saw Sri Sita by herself, he bowed at her feet and he said, Ma, please tell me, why do you wear that red thing on your forehead? Hanumanji, he was envious, he was jealous of the attention and care and love that Sri Ram and Sri Sita was emanating at the time. And he wants to eradicate this envy from his heart, from his mind. And he says, Oh Ma, why do you wear that red sindur on your forehead? She says, Oh Hanuman, I wear this sindur to show, to express the love that I have for Sri Ram. Hanumanji smiled. With a beautiful smile on his face, when he did this, my dear friends, he bowed before Sri Sita. Sri Sita went back with Sri Ram and they enjoyed the, the ambience and so forth. Hanumanji went out in the cave, in the yard, and he took all the sindur he could get and he paced his entire body. And my dear friends, he came before Sri Ram and Sri Sita and he's walking up and down. Up and down. Sri Sita and Sri Ram is looking at each other with a beautiful smile on their face. And Sri Ram is asking Sri Sita, but Tavo, why is Hanuman behaving like this? Why? And without words, Sri Sita is saying to Sri Ram, with a smile she says, He asked me, O oh Prabhu, why I'm wearing this sindur. And I very gently said to him, It's to show how much I love you. So Dekona, look at the childishness. Look at the love he has for you, Prabhu. He went and paced his entire body just to show you and express the amount of love. Do you think, my dear friends, that Hanuman had to put all that sindur to show how much love he had for Sri Ram? There are many individuals who want to do so much of things, say so much of things, sometimes we say the wrong things. Children today, when it's Mother's Day, they flock to the stores and the malls. And if you see them, they're looking at the words in the card, words of somebody else. Just to tell their mother or their father, Happy Mother's Day, I love you. Looking at somebody else's word. My dear friends, the best way to express yourself, simplicity, honesty from the heart. Hanumanji is teaching us in the world that when we approach this Lord, when we approach this divinity, to ask for blessings. These are the qualities that we must possess. These are the qualities that we must have in our hearts and in our minds. 
And if we do not have these qualities in our hearts and in our minds, then my dear friends, we are only spinning, tapping mud. There is no merging of Atma into Paramatma. And the quest, my dear friends, is that when the time comes for us to leave this world, and I'm saying it, my dear friends, none of us know when we will leave this world. None of us know. But I'll tell you, my dear friends, a day will come that one by one we will drop like flies. One by one we will disappear from this earth. And I want to tell you that the world will continue. People will continue to live. People will continue to eat. You feel if I dead, people won't eat? <laughs> they eat more. Huh? You feel, my dear friends, if I drop down here today, that this yug will finish? It finish faster. I want to tell you here tonight, my dear friends, nobody misses. In the Tulsi Krit Ramayan, I think it is Uttarakhand, where Bhagwan Shiva is telling God is Parvati, O Parvati, when you went to your father's home, Daksh Prajapati, not listening to my words, when you went there, you was embarrassed. And being embarrassed, you was ashamed to come back to me, so you destroyed yourself. And when you destroyed yourself, O Sati, O Parvati, I was the saddest person on this world. I didn't know what to do. Mount Kailash Parvat become venomous for me. Mount Kailash Parvat becomes dreaded for me. I could not stay there. Everywhere I turn, I saw you. Every direction I turned, it reminded me of the time that we spent together. Oh, Sati. May Tum say, Pyadhu, I love you. I could not remain home like a madman I wandered about. And while walking to the northern hemisphere, I saw a glitter. And when I saw that glitter, oh Sati, I forgot all about you. The Lord is saying that. These are not my, these are the words in our scriptures. It does not take much, dear friends, to forget people. I see Trevor is laughing. These are serious words, you know. It don't take much to forget people. Just a little thing. Life continues. So my dear friends, nobody will be missed. But what we do in our lives, the attitude, the habits and traits that we develop when we pray and we petition the Lord will determine what happens to us in the hereafter. And therefore Goswami Tulsidas is saying, the time has come, like Hanuman, for us to open our heart. And in opening this heart, my dear friends, allow love. Allow no expectation. Selfless. Surrender yourself. Pay no attention. When you line up in the lines, don't wait till you reach the multi. Start making your offerings. My dear friend, there's a reason why we have no eating under the house. Because we want you to be in the proper frame of mind when you come to the multi to pray to the Lord. We try not to give you any interruption. So while you stand in the lines to make your offering, my dear friends, don't waste time. An opportunity loss is one may never ever come your way again. Let us be generous in whatever we do. Let us be open-minded. Let us be faithful to ourselves. Let us be honest to ourselves. Let us be sincere to ourselves. Let us, my dear friends, be ourselves. Remember, the prayer says, say it together with me. Chidananda Rupam Shivoham Shivoham Chidananda Rupam Shivoham Shivoham I am great. I am divine. I am superior. I am the Lord. If you could feel this positiveness about yourself, if you could feel this greatness about yourself, 
then my dear friends, all your prayers will be answered. All your wishes will be fulfilled. Everything you desire, one by one, will come to you. My dear friends, let us be generous. Let us be open-minded. And when you say your prayer, don't be selfish in your prayer. Say that universal prayer, O oh Lord, may you bring this unification of togetherness amongst all of our people, all of our minds, all of our souls together. Where there is difficulties in other people's lives, may you bring some sort of resolve in theirs. Don't be selfish in your prayer. Sanatan Dharma tells us that we must be universal, we must be open-minded, we must be broad-minded. We must not be selfish. My dear friends, this is my message for you tonight. I'm cutting my discourses short these nights. I want you to ponder on these words. Hanumanji taught us, the time has come for us to open our heart. Open your heart, my dear friends, to the love of the Lord, the love of each other. At the end of our message, every night, I ask you to turn to the person next to you and say, sit around to them. This is our universal brotherhood. If you don't live like this, then my dear friends, you would have wasted time. May the blessings of Lord Ganesh be showered upon each and every one.